Hi guys, it's Kim the Paint Diva and we are now live. Eee, this is the first time I've ever done something like this, so welcome. Thank you everybody for joining in. Thank you everybody for being so enthusiastic and picking up the paint kits. That was a roaring success. And we're gonna do this again on April the 28th, so two weeks from tonight, same time, same channel. And if you're interested, uh, please let me know and we can either do it again with found objects around the house or if you would like to purchase a paint kit just let me know and we can add brushes in for an additional five dollars so that you've got brushes to use as well okay so like we mentioned we are going to paint our beautiful lilac picture over here using found objects from around the house so we're going to use a rubber spatula and if you don't have a rubber spatula you can use a knife you can use a kitchen palette, if you've got an old paint scraper, if you've got a spoon, anything like that, you can certainly use anything that will give you an edge that we're gonna use to make the illusion of leaves and just a straight edge. Okay, the other thing we're gonna use, of course, is a handy dandy kitchen sponge. And if you don't have a kitchen sponge, you can use paper towel, you can use, again, a knife, you can use a makeup sponge, you can use a bath loofah if you've got one of those. Anything that you can use because this is what we're going to use to paint our background with. And of course we're going to use q-tips. And with the q-tips we are eventually going to bunch these together. And if you don't have elastics or tape or anything like that, you can just grab them by the bunchfuls and that's how we're going to make our beautiful lilacs. Okay, so we've got all of our paint colors, everybody should be ready with your paint colors. If you don't have these paint colors, it's okay. You can paint this whatever paint colors you have around the house. And if you need to make your own paint in the future, you can certainly do that. If you go to my Facebook page and give it a like, you will see a recipe for making your own paint. It will do in a pinch. And I used to do it all the time for my kids when they were little and I had daycare in my home. So we are going to get started. And we are going to start with a canvas or a piece of cardboard or a piece of cardstock, anything that you've got laying around the house that you wanna paint on. Easy peasy. If you wanna do it on a window, hey, do it on a window. Just add a couple of drops to your soap of dish detergent and it'll wash, wash off a lot easier, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our handy dandy sponge and you'll notice it's nice and dry. And we're just gonna dip it into our black paint. Fewer sideways. Just like that. Oh, hang on, am I sideways? Yeah, you are, but I thought you had to be for the... Hang on. Do, do, do. Let's try that. Does that work better? Look at that. Does that work? I think everybody's happy now. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to paint our background. And it doesn't have to be really thick. It's just got to be a nice light coat of black or whatever color you're using for your background. You don't have to be worried about being too precise with this because we're going to make it all nice and pretty. Is that better? I hope everybody can see. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to go and we're just going to paint. Just like that. Easy peasy, right? Everybody can do that. Everybody knows how to clean or use a sponge or make strokes, make nice long. That's all you gotta do is really just give your canvas a nice cover or your cardboard or your glass or whatever you're painting on. Okay? That's all we gotta do. And because it's acrylic paint, it'll wash out of your kitchen sponge really quickly, really easily. So that's all we got left, it's just something like that. Okay, so once we do that, now we have to kind of figure out where we want everything to live on our painting. Yes, the canvas is wet, but that's okay. We're gonna be wet in a few minutes, okay? We're gonna, it'll dry really, really, really quickly. And what I've done is I've come, kind of looked around my house and thought, okay, what have I got that kind of looks a little bit like a vase? So I've got one of these. I've actually got a vase. And, you know, we're all staying home and being responsible. So some of you may have something like this too. 
And that's okay, because if you wanna drink this while you're doing that, or your juice box, or your glass of milk, or a cup of tea, or a little bit of coffee with maybe some Baileys in it, you go ahead and do that, okay? So what we've got to do is we've got, now that we've got a canvas kind of painted, and like I said, if it's not black, it can be whatever color you want it to be, we've got to figure out what's most pleasing to the eye. And so what I always like to do is I always kind of like to look at things in thirds. So I'm going to look at this and say, okay, well, I want that to kind of live over here, and that's kind of about a third of my canvas. And you'll notice that it really all is nothing but a narrowed rectangle. Isn't that everybody see? Just a narrow round rectangle. Okay, so that's where the handy dandy spatula comes in. And it's okay that the canvas is a little bit wet. We want it to be a little bit wet for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my spatula into the white and you'll notice that I'm just putting it on the edge. Everybody can see that, it's just kind of on the edge. And I'm just gonna lay, kind of hold my, hold my container up to where I want it to be. And I'm just gonna paint a narrowed down triangle and I'm just gonna paint two quick lines. Now you'll notice that they don't look perfectly straight and perfectly even. Everybody see that? Let me just bring it up closer so you can see. It's not that. You do have a bit of a leg. Okay. Okay. All right. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue on and I'm just gonna grab some more white paint and I'm gonna fill those lines in just a little bit fuller, but again, I don't want them to be solid because I want it to look like it's a piece of glass. And if you're looking at a piece of glass in natural light, it doesn't look very solid, okay? And then what I wanna do is I kind of wanna do a little bit of something across the top. So I'm gonna take that same rubber spatula that I have, and I'm going to just kind of go and brush down and just give myself a little bit of a top, just like that. Again, just kind of brush down, and I wanna just kind of brush down, and that makes the glass look like it's see-through. So we're just gonna set that aside for a few minutes, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna use that spatula again. So now you'll notice that your canvas is probably getting very dry very quickly, and that's okay. We want that to happen. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna look at our Q-tips, okay? So we have bunches of Q-tips. So there's a couple of different things you can do. You can take a bunch of Q-tips and it doesn't matter what, how many you've got in a bundle. I just grabbed six. And you can either hold them together nice and tightly or you can put a little piece of tape around them or you can put a string around them or a hair tie, anything that you'd like to do to make your, give yourself a little bit of precision or a little more control if that helps for you. Okay, so once we do that, I'm gonna just do a couple really quickly just so you can get the idea of what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna push them down so they're all even on the table and then I'm gonna give them a quick little twist with a piece of tape. Just like that. And that's all we want. And it's just like that. Now, like I said, you don't have to have tape. You don't have to have string. You don't have to have anything. But if you find that it might make it a little bit easier for yourself, then please feel free to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to bunch together just a couple more just to kind of get the idea. So that one had six in it. This one's going to have a few more just because I want this one to be a little bit bigger. But there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can make this any way you want it to work, okay? So we'll just give this a quick little turn. And that's another bunch right there, just like that, okay? And what's going to happen with these is this is what we're going to use to create our lilacs with. So if you don't have purple, you want to do your lilacs red or green or yellow or blue, it's up to you, whatever you've got lying around the house. All right, so there's a couple of bunches that I've got together. And then I've also got like loose ones here just hanging on because these are gonna use to fill in some spaces later, okay? So now what we wanna do, now that we've kind of got an idea of where our vase is gonna live, we wanna 
figure out where our lilacs are going to live. Okay, so with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our darker green color. And again, I've just got a little bit of paint just on the edge. And because our eye reacts to things in threes, fives, and sevens, we wanna create an odd number of lilacs. So I'm gonna maybe put one here and just I'm making a quick little flick and maybe I'm gonna put one here and maybe I'm gonna put one here and maybe I'm gonna put one here and maybe I'm gonna put one that's gonna come down like this. So you'll see this like one, two, three, four, five. And again, they're not really heavy lines. All they're doing for me is they're just kind of indicating where my lilacs are going to live. Does that make sense for everybody? I hope that makes sense. Yes, yay, nay, yes, thumbs up. All right. And again, we're just gonna set that down. You'll notice that I'm not rinsing off my rubber spatula at all because I really don't need to because these colors are all meant to blend together and be very soft and very lovely and work together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my big bunches. Oh good, I got some thumbs up, yay! Everybody's understanding me, this is a good thing. So what we wanna do is that when we look at lilacs in nature, lilacs are always in the shape of a cup or a teardrop, right? Because they're thin at the end and then they're bushier as they get near the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my bunches of lilacs and I'm going to just dip it in the lighter shade, believe it or not, the shade's actually called lilac. And I'm going to figure out where my lilacs are going to go, where they're gonna start. So they usually they start at the top of a vase because you don't want the purple in the vase, right? And so I'm just going to start dabbing, just like that. No rhyme or reason, just anywhere it wants to live. Okay, and I'm just gonna dab again. And I'm going over the green. You'll notice that I'm going right over that green line. And that's okay because that's where it's just telling me where my lilacs are gonna live. And you'll notice that it's nice and big at the bottom. Fiona said they're still working on the green part. Okay. In the video. Okay. And then they're just gonna go up. And I just made a lilac, just like that. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> no, it's really different. This is very, this is new for me. This is very different for me. You'll notice that I have my lips on. Thanks, Teresa. And so that's all I'm doing right there is I just made a lilac. Does that make sense for everybody? So now that we've done that, are we all there? We're there, we're ready to go. Guess what? We need to make another one. So let's start with the one beside it. And I'm just gonna dab. And I'm gonna dab again. And this one's gonna be nice and big and bushy. And they're overlapping and it's okay because they're blending in together. We want them to blend in together because the fun's going to come when we add the white to it. Janet had has asked a question. Yes. Will this be available as a video so I can do it at a later date? You know how slow I am, Kim. Absolutely. I'm going to keep this live up on my Paint Diva page for the next week. So anybody who wants to paint along afterwards and try it with different colors, you're more than welcome to. And if you've got any questions in the meantime, just shout them out to me and let me know and I will be happy to answer them whichever way I can, okay? Good, bad, or indifferent. <laughs> so does that make sense, everybody? So now see, look, it's all kind of blended together. It's all kind of mushy and that's okay. We want that to be mushy. And look, see, it's getting messy. It's getting all kind of mucky. So I'm gonna flip it over because look, lo and behold, I have another whole side that I can use. So I'm gonna take my next pet tab, and I got some more paint on the other side now, and I'm gonna make my third one. My third bunch is gonna live right over here. Remember, paint with you painting lilacs, they're always bunchy at the bottom, and then they get a little bit thinner as they go up. Right, they get smaller, because they're like a teardrop. It's gonna live right over here. Remember, paint with you painting lilacs, 
that makes sense? Everybody can see that? Fantastic. I believe we're in the right spot. I think we're good. Okay. So now my other one's gonna live down here. And it's kind of like, it's almost like it's falling out of the vase. So again, it's kind of there. And it's big, it's a nice big one. And remember, they're shaped like teardrops. And it's gonna just kind of drop down here like this. And yours may not look exactly the same as mine, and that's okay because your world is different than my world and everybody has a different view and a different sight and what they see and how they see things. So what is it? Asking if they're supposed to be different colors. Yes. You're gonna see a whole bunch of different shades all happening in here. Because the green is gonna blend in with it a little bit. Because what it's gonna do is it's gonna give the illusion of uh, the stems and the leaves and everything kind of tucked all in between in behind the lilacs. And we're gonna add more colors to these, so don't worry. Okay? So that's our fourth one. And see, you'll notice it just kind of lives right down here. It's a nice big one, nice big full bushy one. And maybe this one now we're looking at it, maybe I wanna bring this one out a little bit too, just to make it a little bit longer. And then our final one has to live over here. So remember, we're gonna overlap, because they're nice and big. And it's okay that it goes off the edge of the canvas. I want it to go off the edge of the canvas because that's going to give your eye the illusion. It's going to look re more realistic than everything kind of being all bunched together. It doesn't have to be a full one. And that's the base of our lilacs. Does that make sense for everybody? Everybody can kind of see where we're going with all of this. And that I've just used a couple of bunches, so I'm just gonna set those off to the side. And there's where we are so far. This is where we're living. Okay, Does that work for everybody? It makes sense. Perfect, I'm so excited. So now remember I did put this other bunch together. So now what we've got the base of our lilacs. Now we kind of have to figure out where our light source is. And light sources are very important in paintings because it's when the sun shines down on something, it's always lighter on one side than it is on the other. So with this one, my light source is coming in from here. So that means the top parts of some of these lilacs are going to be, have more white on them. And because the paint is already wet, you're gonna get different shades. You're gonna get some white, you're gonna get some light purple, you're gonna get just some mixing of colors together and that's what we want, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just now gonna dip into the white. You'll notice I've got white on there now. Everybody can see the white. And then I'm just kind of gonna do some quick little dabs. Can you slow it a bit down, yeah. down a bit? Yep. And I'm just gonna do a quick little bit, a few little bits of dabs in here. And a few little dabs in here. And now all of a sudden I have some highlights. Does that make sense for everybody? Are we there? How's it looking? Everybody getting excited? I can't wait to see everybody's creation at the end. I really, really would love for you guys in the event page itself, or even on my page, or just even message me a picture of your painting when you're all done, a picture of you holding up your painting, giving me a thumbs up, because I really, really am excited to see what you come up with, because part of the big fun for me in doing live events and going and being with you in a social level is seeing everybody's result and seeing how different everybody feels that looks at the world because that's really exciting for me is that when what I say translates onto a canvas, it's really, really cool for me. Okay, so we've got a little bit of highlight happening over here. We've got a little bit of highlight happening over here. So now I'm gonna just put some more highlight 
on this little guy here and this big guy. Now I'm not gonna go right out to the end because this is a big bunch of Q-tips. We're gonna go back in with our little singles and we're gonna make little ones later to give them all so it's not all kind of blunchy and blotchy together. And then this little guy's gonna live right here. Don't think about it too much. Don't try not to overthink it because I know there's some of my type A's out there that like to overthink and get really uptight about this and get very concerned that they're not doing it properly, not naming any names, but I do know who a couple of you are. So you'll notice that we just, now we put a little bit of highlights in, right? So everybody go ahead and just throw some highlights in there. Remember, you're not gonna go all the way out to the end Yep, I know a few who few my my got my type A's. I think you're all recognizing yourself too, aren't you? You want it to be absolutely perfect and be exactly like mine, and that's okay. We don't want it to be exactly like mine. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being part of this. It's really making me really happy. Okay, so once we get our white done, and like I said, we're just it's we're we're building layers, and when we build layers, it's gonna bring the painting to life. So now what we have to do is we kind of have, now that we figured out where our light source is, opposite of the light source is always going to be where our shadows live because you can't have light without shadow. It's a yin and yang thing, right? Very zen-like for me, I know. So what I'm going to do now is I just have a bunch of Q-tips that I just grabbed. I think there's five in this bunch now. And no tape on this one. This is just a bunch. And I've gone into my dark purple. And if you don't have dark purple, if you've got red and blue and you want to make purple and add just a touch of black to it, and I mean a really, 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 really little touch of black. Okay. So you're just going to take this and you're going to just start dabbing on the opposite side. And they don't have to be perfectly straight drops because lilacs kind of float around, right? And I don't care if mine looks like yours. It's not supposed, mine is not supposed to look like yours. Yours is supposed to look like yours. Everybody's is different. So you'll notice there, I just put a little bit of dark right over the light purple. And that's okay. We want it to be like that because all we did with our light purple was just our, our starting part. Okay. So we're going to take some more dark purple and we're gonna go in here. And it's okay if it blends in with the light purple because we want it to give it that illusion. But there's lots and lots of little flower buds hanging around in there. Okay, does everybody see where I'm going with that? Just a little bit of dark in there. And we're gonna add some more of our medium purple in later. We wanna do that. So does that make sense? So you can see the light and the dark. So Ada, if you're using too much paint, just take some of your Q-tips without any paint on them. So just use from this end here and just start dabbing in and around and just keep moving that paint around until you take some of that paint off with your empty Q-tips. Oh, my friend CA is joining in from Calgary. Hi CA, I'm so happy to see you that you've joined on. Look at me, I'm just being all creative. <laughs> okay, so if you're having the smearing and you're not using, if you're using too much paint, then just take your empty side of your Q-tips and just dab, okay? Just dab around. Like you'll notice that I've got a couple of big globs here and that's okay. But if I had a lots and lots and lots of big globs, I just kind of dab and just keep moving that paint around and you'll notice, see how it just kind of breaks it all up for me, right like that. Does that make sense for everybody? Am I explaining that? So I'm just going to dip in. Again, I got some more purple on there. And I'm just going to put a few little shadows in here. 
And this one's going to live right here. It's kind of going to overlap everybody right there. So you'll know, see how kind of smeared there? So I just want to touch. So this one little lilac, he's going to live right over top of these two. So this one's going to be my big one right here. All right. I'm seeing some really cool things happening. Okay, so look at this one's all kind of all mucky again. So I'm just going to grab a few more Q-tips. going to put a few shadows right in here because this is the bottom right here because my light source is coming from here right so now if this is my light part here this is the opposite side and this is where my dark ones are going to live my shadows right in there okay so it makes sense I hope that makes sense for everybody and again my white is here So my dark is gonna live down here. And it's okay if it's globby. Remember, we're gonna go back in and make these all pretty and zhuzh them all up. Okay. All right. And I understand there's a young lady named Courtney. She's joining us today. So congratulations, Courtney. I'm so glad that you're here with us and you're having fun. This is all part of it. This just everybody be fun. Have fun. Okay, so we've got light, medium, and dark. Does everybody see that? And I want it to look blotchy. It's okay if it looks blotchy like this right now because this is just part of the fun right here. Okay, everybody's with me? All right. Oh, and I forgot my niece Brooke is also joining us today. I'm very, very excited that she's being able to join us because I can't go and see her in person. Hi, Brookie. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into our light purple again, our lilac. And now I'm going to start blending. So I don't want it to look like a solid line between the white, the medium, and the dark purple. And now I'm gonna just start grabbing that purple and I'm gonna just dab a little bit softer now. And I'm just gonna kinda go in here and even though my white is wet and even though my dark purple is wet, I want them to be wet because it's going to blend. And it's going to give me another set of colors, just like that. And you'll notice just by me doing that, it just softened all of those edges right up. Everybody see what I just did there? Does that make sense? Okay, so we just want to grab a little bit more purple and now we just want to make a nice soft line between the two. And I'm now going to go down here and I'm going to do the same thing over here. So basically going over what we've already done, but now what we're doing is we're just softening up edges so that that dark purple and that light purple and that white don't look like three separate flowers. Does that make sense? Repeat, no. please. Okay. They want you to repeat that. Okay, no problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm taking my medium purple color again, my lilac color, and I am just dabbing where we just painted with the dark and the white. And I'm just kind of going over everything and just filling in. And then I'm softening up those lines between the dark the medium and the white so that they're not three solid colors. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense for everybody. Nice and soft. We just want them to look Okay, we just want it to look nice and soft. So now I'm just going to go into this one and I'm going to do the same thing. 
I'm just going to go over. And you'll notice that when I go over certain spots that I'm going to get different colors again. And that's what I want. I want different shades of purple because the light purple and the dark purple are going to blend together to give me a new color. And the white and the light purple are going to blend together to give me another color as well. Hi, Mary. Yes, this paint, I'm going to keep this up on my page for the next week. So if you missed any of it, that's cool. No worries. And you'll be able to go back in and paint as well. Okay. So you'll notice that just what happens is that you're still getting your, your shadows and your light. But now we've got them all kind of blending together. Can everybody see that? Okay, so now I'm going to grab some singles. Dun, 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 dun. So now this is where we can get a little more detailed with some things. So I've noticed up here that I need to add a little bit of white in on the end. And I'm just really, really lightly tapping, almost like raindrops. Patty's saying she lost the sound. Oh, I'm not sure. We're all good here, so Patty. This is where we can get a little more detailed with something. There's still sound on my Yeah, we're st we still have sound here, Patty, so maybe plug your phone in, hon. And you'll notice that I'm just, like, literally, dab, 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 dab. You guys will all know that anybody who's had a paint class with me knows that I just say, dab, 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 dab. I use that, say that a lot. And then this one, I'm just going to, there's no white down here, so we'll be going to get some white to live down here in this little part here. Okay. And I just want to accentuate this white a little bit up here and fill it in a little bit more. Quick little dabs. They don't have to kind of be anywhere in particular. They just need to be be little dabs. And remember, these aren't perfectly teardrop shaped rainbows. Okay. We want them to be loosey goosey. They don't need to be perfectly aligned because when you look at lilacs in nature, they're not in a perfect shape, right? They've got little bits hanging here and there and little flowers everywhere. Okay. So I'm just going to go and live with a little bit of white in there. And I'm just using a single one. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Just dab, dab, dab. Quick little dab. And over here, because remember, this is our light source. So what ends up happening? Eventually, what you're going to end up seeing... Now you'll notice, because we've done the light and the shadows, is that this little guy here looks like he's at the very back. And these guys have all come up in front. Okay. And then I'm going to take some of the dark now. I'm going to put a little bit of white on my, my Q-tip. And a little bit of dark on my Q-tip. So I've got two colors now working that Q-tip at the same time. Because this is my big one that's going to live in the front. I want to kind of define him a little bit. And you'll notice that, that I'm doing that. Does that make sense how I'm explaining that? So this big guy, he's now living right out front, in front of everybody else. Can everybody see that? And that's pretty much where we are. We're, we've almost got lilacs done, guys. We're almost there. How are we making out? Everybody with me? So you'll notice then if you look really closely, you're going to see little bits of green in mine still. I'm going to pull it up a little bit so you can see all the little bits of green. And we want to see those little bits of green. And there's a little bit of muddy colors in there. There's a little bit of this. There's a little bit of that. And that's okay. We want that to happen. 
because we really, really, really want to be able to know that these are actually growing on leaves and they're not just kind of plunked in there. Okay, so I'm just kind of adding a few more dabs just because I feel like it. And I'm just kind of making them a little bit loose. Remember, loosey-goosey is best because we don't want them to look like perfect shapes because nothing in nature has a perfect shape attached to it. Just look at my butt, it'll tell you that. Can't help it, I'm self-deprecating. <laughs> So there, look at, we have some lilacs happening. Sherry, welcome my friend. Okay, so let everybody, you guys need to let me know when you're at this stage where you're, you're kind of where you're, your lilacs look like they're kind of, they're like lilacs. Because we've got one more step, believe it or not, we are almost done. Thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our scraper so you guys let me know how we make it out so remember I'm gonna do another one of these on the 28th of April and if you are interested please let me know and I will create the other event and we're gonna have a lot of fun and if you want to do another one of these with q-tips we can certainly do that and if you don't if you'd rather use brushes please let me know and I can certainly get a kit together for you and we're doing EMT transfers and we can also do porch contactless delivery because I've got a nice little basket on my front porch. So pick up in Oshawa for any time. And then, like I said, if you wanna do follow along and try this again, I can, this is pretty much, this is good for anybody. I started age five and I do these paint parties. So pretty, you can pretty much anybody can do that. Okay, so does that make sense with everybody? How we doing? How we make? How we doing? How we making out, guys? Have we got something happening? Are we starting to see some lilacs appear? I hope so. Excellent. Good job, Elizabeth. I can't wait to see how you guys all turn out. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to making our leaves. Now you'll notice on the original painting. And I'll pull that up. Yeah. So you can all see it. Okay. They don't really, like, we're not going to get really crazy about leaves. Look at the love you're getting. I'm getting some love. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I love it. So we're just going to give the illusion of leaves. Because everybody tries really hard and they sometimes get really overthink the leaf part. We don't want that to be do that. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to just dip our spatula. And no, it's okay if it's got color on it. It's all right. It's all good. But we want to dip it in both colors of green now. Okay, so I've got some light green and some dark green. And like I said, if you're using a knife, you can use a knife. If you're using a paint scraper, you can use a paint scraper. If you're using a spoon, use a spoon. It's all good. Okay, I'm so excited about the love. It really is making me very happy. So now we're going to figure out where our leaves are going to live. Now remember, these are lilacs are generally bushes. And it's okay to go over what you've already painted. We really want you to go over what you've already painted. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go, okay, maybe a leaf lives here. And I'm just gonna give it a quick flick up and a quick flick up. Anybody see what I just did there? Okay, I got both colors of green. And I know this is really scary for a lot of people to go over what they've already painted, but it's okay, you're allowed to. We're coloring outside the lines tonight. Okay, and I'm just really basically just grabbing my paintbrush and flicking up because it's a rubber spatula. So I'm just push, placing it on and flicking up. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Don't be scared. Please don't be scared. I know it's the type, my type A's that are freaking out right now. I totally get it. And see, I'm just flicking and I'm just kind of Maybe the little leaf will live up here and over here. Maybe another leaf will live here. Maybe another one will live over here. 
That's all I'm doing is I'm just flicking. 